Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcady Economics. And tonight, this is just going to be a quick one, but as many of you saw last night, I have written a letter to Maxine, Representative Maxine Waters of the House Financial Services Committee or House on Financial or whatever the heck they named the damn thing. Um, they're having a meeting with the banks, including the CEOs of Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan, Thursday, May 27th. The House is having its Senate Banking Committee party on Wednesday, May 26th, so two days from now. And uh, the letter is written, and actually the design of that, and by the way, because uh, <laughs> I know people have, have said with this or the letter to Benham, They've said, yeah, that's great, but they're not going to respond. Keep in mind, this letter was written more for you than them. I don't know whether they will or not respond. I like to keep all options open. You never know when uh, and what this video is about is how you can, if you're able to send uh, the, the letter to the house, to Maxine Waters' office. Uh, I have a few other... Uh, addresses or phone numbers that people can call. Obviously, if you have a local representative or someone you know, you can call them as well because the way I look at it is that you never know when you catch one of these guys on the right day and maybe there's a Republican guy backing one of these banks and one of the Democrats wants to stick it to him or or when somebody in one of these offices just says, wow, this is really wrong. Somebody should do something about that. And Again, I get a lot of messages from people saying, hey, you should send it to someone said today in the comments, you should send it to all of the congressmen. I'm all in favor of that, um, doing as much as I can and trying to spend as much time on gaining the, getting the evidence and writing things down and making the videos. So that is certainly one area where you could help and uh, to make that as easy as possible. Uh, I put up, first of all, if you want to hear the video where I read the letter, will Maxine Waters ask these silver manipulation questions, 25 minute video there, uh, like I think it was kind of entertaining. So you may like that. But if you just want to get the letter, download it and send it, as well as the Rostin Benham letter or the evidence files I've submitted to the CFTC. Well, if you go into the description field, so let's see, uh, my new video is showing up there yet. The one that we're doing now. Uh, okay, so here we go. I'll click on this and see. Uh, hopefully you can see the description field. Let me mute this so we don't get a uh, audio loop here. But right here below in the description field, right down there. Just want to get the letter. Uh, help get the silver manipulation evidence to Congress. To download the evidence files, you click on this one and it will open up this page, which, uh, let's see, uh, I think that is not, well, well, you get this page, which on my other browser has the uh, information that is in the description field below here. We'll get that fixed up. It's a work in progress, but here you go. Contact Representative Waters, her Los Angeles office. I'll change that to her Washington office. Here is the link for their website. Here is House Committee on Financial Services by phone. Here is an email. So if you guys, if you're someone, you don't like talking to people on the phone, there's an email address. I even wrote a sample message. So this couldn't really couldn't be easier. Here, dear Representative Waters, I'll get the S there, or if you're sending it to someone else, insert the appropriate name. I'm writing to alert you of the evidence who've been, these guys have been caught cheating. I've attached the files and it's by me. And if they want to reach me, they can find me here. So you could just copy and paste that. You would want to put your name in place of those X's at the bottom. And if you're changing the name up here, but you can go here. You click on this one with the evidence files, you can download the letter to Representative Waters. Just to show you there, it does work. Uh, and here's the letter to Benham. Here is the first round of evidence. Here is the second round of evidence. So they're all there. You're welcome to use these if you wanna make meme videos at anything, knock yourself out. 
Um, but if anyone is able to send these letters, again, I just, uh, I've been amazed by how many people have contacted officials in the past couple of weeks. And I've been writing these things so that we can continue to do that. Uh, I've been getting requests from different media outlets. I don't know when that means the silver manipulation is going to end yet. It's an easy way that if you'd like to do something rather than just being frustrated by it, I personally think every small bit helps. Don't worry about whether you actually get a response or not. Just the fact that you're sending it, you know, if a hundred people send it and they pick one, then mission accomplished. So Anyway, uh, as you can see, so in the description field below, here's the stuff. There's the evidence. I think it's just my browser why this is not showing up here, but that will be on the evidence link. And there is a message. So that will all be on there. Uh, again, you can go the here's Maxine Waters site. Here uh, is that page again. And if uh, you don't want to call or send something, but if you'd like to contribute financially, here is a GoFundMe that has been started to bring legal action against the CFTC. Get a lot of questions people ask, uh, and I see I've been quoted as having multiple lawsuits ongoing. We're not quite that far yet, but I do have a growing team of volunteers that is looking into the legal options. There's a lawyer that has helped one hedge fund manager get a settlement from JP Morgan Chase. So we've been reaching out to that guy and eventually we'll track him down and contact him. A lot of these things just take some time and persistence. Uh, and certainly if there's anyone who has skills out there and would like to help, please contact us through the ArcadiaEconomics.com site. Um, and again, uh, maybe if you don't wanna send an email or you don't wanna call or don't wanna contribute financially, even just sharing this or telling people about what's going on, um, that can be just as helpful as well. So just wanted to provide some options that, you know, if you want to support what we're doing here uh, and help uh, put as much pressure on these banks and uh, force them, <laughs> it'll be amazing to see. I still think the market will ultimately do it, but I guess maybe the real target in these letters and sending them out is that just as it gets out there, imagine, would you be okay if the government never did anything, but in the process of sending these things out, maybe some of the funds that are invested in SLV see this or see some of the risks, just because it, maybe just someone sent it to the local newspaper, you never know who you're gonna reach. Um, and speaking of which, we are making up a one sheet with the risks of SLV to send to the largest SLV holders, which is amazingly available on Google. God bless the internet. Um, so anyway, a lot of people have asked how they can help. These are some simple ways. Again, if you can just go here, we're going the description field below, copy the message, attach the files, send it to uh, probably this would be the best one. Um, I don't know if you could make an attachment through here, but you can call. In fact, uh, you know, if you're not a big email person, it'd be great if some people were calling, you never know who you're gonna reach. And actually as proof of that, uh, a couple of people heard this on Twitter. I actually was, I did get a call back from the CFTC uh, public affairs or public media or something. Someone called me back who's at least going to look into some stuff for me. Uh, hey, we'll see what happens. Maybe it will be her. Maybe it, it will be someone else. Or maybe the LBMA will just run out of metal or the Basel III will decide they've had enough of the scheme next week. I don't know, but if you'd like to participate, this is how I've been going about things. So if you think some of this has been useful and you'd like to hop into the fun, that's how you can do it. So with that said, going to wrap up here. Like I said, just a short one. Uh, good conversation with the Silver Talk and options expiration earlier today on the channel. So with that said, thank you as always for being here and for everyone who has taken action and contacted anyone or shared the stuff or just the people who come and watch every night. Really do appreciate you and uh, believe that we'll keep going, do whatever is necessary to get some integrity back in our silver market. And I can't wait to see it. So thanks for being here. And I will talk to you again tomorrow.